So in today's video, we're gonna be focusing on bounties and talking about some of the various different characteristics, the same way that we've already done about recon. So if you wanna check out that video, I'd highly recommend it. The same thing with loadouts. Obviously we can't confirm everything because there are just certain unknowns when it comes to bounties. So we're gonna try and cover as much as we can as far as distances that it's yellow, orange and then also that it turns into red and we're going to cover those various things as well as how it chooses its target if you do enjoy the video learn something new please remember to hit that like button go on today's video is 2500 likes if you're brand new want to find your way back for more call of duty content make sure you are subscribed with notifications on i was also able to test this out with one of my subscribers who also happens to have a youtube channel mr fishy mcfish um is actually showing off this we actually session queued so we ended up in the same plunder lobby you saw us grab the bounty right there we we're foot away it didn't actually lock on to where I was whereas this one you will see that it will lock on to to where I'm at so we're right here a foot apart the other one didn't choose for whatever reason this one did so I think there is a little bit of randomness but somebody in the close vicinity of where you're at um, where you're gonna grab it if somebody is within the range they're gonna high they're the game's gonna try and best match that up so you have the best chance at actually matching that up there so what you're gonna see now is I'm running away from him until the threat dropped then I'm gonna mark where he is so we can get a good idea of where those drop-offs are um, because there is one of these things where it, it kind of is a 10 second pacing between updates. Kind of on every 10, you'll see it kind of update. Uh, if we're looking at it from their perspective, this is where the ring changes a little bit of size or shifts um, in, in any part of the map. Um, and that happens approximately every 10 seconds. And what we are able to find out is within 75 meters, you'll be red. Um, all the way up between 75 up to 150 meters, which is double the 75, it'll turn yellow and then ever or it'll turn orange and then everything beyond 150 meters will be uh, the regular yellow. Um, and the thing that sometimes it feels like they all of a sudden skip between one phase to the other is because of that 10 second interval. If they're using a vehicle, they're going to be moving faster than, than the difference in 60 meters per second. Um, typically, if you're running at full sprint, double time, slide canceling, you're going to get about six, six and a half um, meters per second as far as your movement goes. So that means you can cover about 65 meters over the course of 10 seconds if you're maximizing it. So if somebody is within that range, they could almost skip to the next zone pretty quickly because we're at 150 meters um, and maybe we're sitting right there we can get into a vehicle glide closer uh, but generally it's going to go pretty quick because of that you can cover about 130 meters at full speed so you're covering quite a distance when it comes to ranges how far you can actually go so i've already marked it and right around 150 i was moving slowly so this timer could update and then kind of stood in place so we can get that measurement um, which was pretty difficult to do one to get in the same lobby of plunder and two to find it where people are not shooting you constantly um so i continue moving back further and then you get that good line of sight where it's right around 150 meters you can see it dropped to one, 151 and then right there is right at that yellow one of the other things i want to address is near the end of the match there's typically this bug or sometimes people will assume it's a bug where you go and grab the bounty and then it just kicks out some plates or it kicks out like some money or some ammo or whatever the case is in those particular cases a couple different things are happening and i want to test it out some people assumed hey you know what the game uh, doesn't want to give you a late game zone so we're going to take a look at that um, because they don't want it to be unfair for somebody in the lobby that doesn't end up being the case because i have proof all the way up into like the eighth and ninth zone that i was able to see um we're going to go ahead and take a look at that the other part is that they've said they've had multiple bounties on them and for whatever reason I i've never actually experienced that so we'll go ahead and talk a little bit about what's going on here but you can see he grabbed another uh, bounty um, and it went to somebody else. So we're going to end up rotating. We end up going to another one and then end up testing this again with another teammate in my party. In addition to that, and, and we've got like four or five different bounties and it only ever marked me once. And that was it. I got marked with the bounty and I didn't get marked with the bounty again, but let's go ahead and take a look at some of these other examples. So right here, we have a bounty that's just sitting there waiting. I'm here with another subscriber, Charles World. Uh, he jumped in to play some games, uh, but we were able to sit right here. It should label us, but as soon as he grabs it, it marks somebody over at Boneyard. So the algorithm doesn't mean the closest to you. And I always assumed it would be somebody close to you that hadn't already had a bounty on their head, but this obviously isn't the case. We start to rotate over to Boneyard. I think it gets poached. Obviously I can't see it on my screen. And then what we end up seeing is by the time we get over there, somebody gets a bounty on me, which was right there where I ended up marking. The one I wanted to grab ended up getting put on me. And because of that, we ended up going to kill that bounty and then no other bounty went on my head and we got like four or five of them 
um, continued after that. So I'm pretty sure the way it's supposed to work is that they want to make it as fair as possible. So they want to limit one bounty per person. Um, that's the main one. Uh, I think if you outlive, it's hard to prove, but I think if you outlive the bounty, that what I mean is a three minute timer starts, it runs out. Um, the person doesn't get awarded the, the kill for it. So that bounty cash is still available, even though the person gets supplemental money for surviving, it doesn't clear that bounty. So potentially you could have another bounty on your head. And I think those are the scenarios where it's happening, where you get multiple bounties. Cause personally, from my experience, usually those bounties come after me or, and we run into them, they kill us or we kill them. Regardless, that ends the, the, the end of bounty that ends the bounty. So my thought process is that it does limit to one person unless you have this rare occurrence. Um, and then that's why late game, when you grab the bounty, it kicks it because if there's only like seven players left or seven teams, odds are everyone on those teams has been had a bounty on their head at some point during the match. So it's going to kick out that ammo. So let's go ahead and check out an example of that. So this is an example from swag stream. You can see the, the time on the clock. The six zone is closing. You can see how small it is. There happens to be a bounty sitting right here. There's only two other teams and a total of four other players. So everyone's duos. So it's duos, duos, duos. And what you're going to see is he's going to grab the bounty and it's going to ride out. And what I want you to pay attention to is that 10 second difference. So right here, if we look to the left, you can see every 10 seconds or so you get a status update on this bounty it happened at like 58 seconds and then right when it gets down to uh 48 it's going to end up doing that shift so right here shift see how it kind of shrunk as they got closer and pretty much it continues to shift even in this late part of the zone you can see we're in zone seven it's about to switch to zone eight it's still doing this little status update approximately every eight to ten seconds it's hard to get a perfect timer because how the person's moving and stuff like that they end up killing this guy and then these other ones jump off but you can see we're in the eighth zone. It's about to go into the ninth zone or the eighth closing or, or rotating out. So it goes pretty late. So that's completely debunked there. There's only three teams left. Odds are the team he bountied was one of the rare occurrences where they just didn't have a bounty on their head that whole match. Maybe not enough people were actually doing bounties. So no one actually ended up getting paid out going around. So he did down the guy who has the bounty on his head. He's going to probably get revived. And you can see it's still rotating around. Look at the clock. We're going to go into the ninth rotating zone. Um, and this is kind of where it's getting towards the end there. But that part's debunked. So it really has to work on that, that process uh, because obviously some people thinking this was unfair obviously isn't the case because you can see it all the way up until about now. They, they still have the whole tire zone. And this guy is still marked going into the final the the bounty actually ran out that's how long they were able to sit there so in this particular match uh fatal is another youtuber i'm going to link that one down in the description for anyone i'm talking about i'm linking in the description um he ended up getting 13 bounties in a single game what actually happens in that mechanic that i'm talking about so it kicked out the ammo and it kicked out uh, some money and it kicked out a plate and that's the bug animation um, you can see there's only seven teams left. So odds are, since they've been so hungry on the bounties, they've already hit up everyone in the lobby. Um, and anyone left has already had their share of bounties. So the seven remaining teams have already had bounties on their head. And that's why it's going to kick that out. I know there's some people who are going to argue that they've had multiple teams and have had it on the same person. Personally, I have uh, like 18 days played. Never seen that happen not once i've seen it happen where maybe a team nearby it gets it and they end up killing and that they weren't with them but never the exact same name never the exact same team it just doesn't happen from my experience i know there's some people that are going to argue and say hey yeah it is but i think there's some people who have just long gaming sessions and they think one match ties to the other especially if they're not really thinking about that openly and i've, I've asked for people on twitter i had a lot of engagement and nobody was able to submit any kind of clip or any kind of proof that a back-to-back -back bounty or they had gotten bounties on their head multiple times, even though plenty of people claimed, yeah, I get bountied on my head twice a match. No proof if it was that common. Definitely not twice a match. So, And then what happens as a result of grabbing those bounties and them still being available late game is it'll automatically draw to someone further away because it's going to try and look for people that haven't already had a bounty on their head. It's going to prioritize that and kind of cross them off the lobby until you finally get to the end and not everyone and everyone's already had the bounty on their head. 
so it kicks out those plates. So hopefully that made sense. I wish I could find out more. Obviously, you can't really test this in a private match. I never had proof that you can get multiple in a game. So that theory holds up until I'm disproven. But overall, one thing to keep in mind is that if you grab a bounty, it doesn't guarantee that it's giving you the closest person to you. So don't assume that because I know a lot of times people think, yeah, let me run to the bounty as fast as I can. By the time they're on their path over there, they get killed by somebody who has ghost. Also, if there's a bounty late game, highly recommend picking it up because even if it kicks out the armor plate at least you got armor plate best case scenario they're still gonna be visible um even if they had ghosts so you're gonna know exactly where they're at and be able to predict their movements a little bit better um instead of trusting like a uav or a super or advanced uav however you want to look at it hopefully you enjoyed the video learned something new if you did please do me a favor hit that like button if you're brand new want to find your way back for more call of duty content make sure you are subscribed with notifications on appreciate all the support of the channel thank you for watching as always have a great day